Steve, back in front, and I can't believe it was a year since we were last here. I mean, time just flies. Unbelievable. Time goes so quickly. Technology moves so quickly. But here we are again in Machine Tool Paradise. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like that. And and where, where else would you want to be? <laughs>how many people have you bought this year this we've, we've got uh, two groups and um, it's a total of 140 people so we've moved it up since last year um, i would encourage more people to come along because there's technology here that i can't show in the uk from a point of view of things like the the automated cells and that kind of thing but there's also a load of professional people here supporting us in all sorts of activities the, either in the, the supply chain you know, computers and, yeah. and the can, tooling, um, coolants, all that sort of thing that you can talk to and really get some really good information from. Now it starts around about August, I just I was told, the planning for this planning. event. So I mean, you know, it, it is some of it. I mean, I, I'm going to, what, what do you reckon, 30, 40 machines on display? I mean, you Yeah, I don't know the be. exact numbers, but you know, you're right, August. I mean, I'm now beginning to plan for next year right, okay. because the hotel that we use, which is very convenient, um, I want to book the whole hotel. Right, okay. Uh, last night we had the whole restaurant because yeah. we had a group of 70 with us last night. We'll have another 70 on, um, on Thursday. So, you and know, how much has that increased over the years? I mean, did you used well, to... Well, we used to come here with maybe a handful of people, literally, okay. but the, the technologies that we can show here and the group encourage us to come along. I would encourage customers to come along, talk to your sales guy to actually say, listen, get me on that trip. There is no charge, you know, it's all it's all about us showing you what we can do. And it's really accessible as well. I mean, it's just south of Munich, was it? Hour and a half's journey. Yeah. Flight from Birmingham or Heathrow. And they're here for a couple of days, aren't they? And you have a group at the start of the week and one at the end. Yeah, we get we fly in on Monday. We come from various uh, airports, Birmingham, Manchester, London. Um, and then we converge into Munich. We, we get a, a bus down, really nice bus this year, actually. They've got some nice buses over here. And uh, we get the bus down, we have a bit of dinner, a bit of chit chat, then we come in early in the morning, we do a presentation, uh, not painful to watch, it's not death by PowerPoint, it's quite interesting information. And then the sales guys will take the people around to the pieces of equipment or the processes that they're really interested to them. You know, so we don't say, let me sit you in front of the Toyo Koki grinding machine when you've got no aspect to grinding. It's, you know, it'll be tailored, everything will be tailored to them. And then a message around MX, uh, the machining transformation. And this is a message that for the last couple of years, DMG Mori have been talking about. For those that haven't and don't know what it is, what is that theme? Well, the MX theme is about manufacturing more efficiently in less floor space with elect less electricity. So you get the green transformation come in as well. It's about doing more processes into one. And we're not just talking about milling and drilling we're, and turning, we're talking about you know, grinding and broaching and gear cutting, splining, and all of those kind of activities into one aspect of the machine. So therefore, you know, the multitasking machines really come to their own there. Um, and of course it allows, you to do, it allows you to do processes rather than take it down the line, you get better throughput in your factory. More efficient, less floor space, Green transformation is really important with it as well, of course. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, the, the, what, that's clear when you walk around and you see some of the new machines. In fact, we've, we've looked at about five world premieres, which will all be on our YouTube channel. And that's another thing, there's always a world premiere. I, yeah. I, the, the, every year there's, there's, there's more and more. But all of the world premieres seem to cross the, the, the boundaries of, of you know, milling and turn. They, they can all do everything. So you take a lathe, and yet that lathe can do six-face machining. Yeah. And then you take a machining centre and that machine is set it can turn. So it's like, you know, there's not many gaps now, is there? No. In, 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 in the range. No, you won't get one machine to do everything. You can't be all things to all men. So, you know, if you've got a big prismatic part, particularly if you want to load it on the table and the head come over the top because you don't want to spin that weight around, we've got a solution. If you've got a small prismatic part and you want to bar feed it, so you've got automation effectively, we've got a solution. And every solution will be different for every customer. That's the thing. And you look over here, I mean, this is, there's a lot of robots around, isn't there? Industrial robots, Yeah. you know, lo loading mill turn machines. 
of all shapes and sizes as well. I mean, there's a sh huge shaft being uh, loaded down there. Big shaft on the robo, mate. Yeah. Big shaft. This one here, you can see the people are actually in the robo area. Yeah. That won't activate until they walk out. Yeah. So it's all safe. Uh, CTX beat the 450TC. Launched last year. As yeah. you know, we, we brought it into the UK. We sold one this month. Um, with grinding on it as well. Really? So it's a high level specification. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, 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 people say there's a crossover between the NTX and the, and the CTX. They complement each other. There are different aspects to be at both machines. Yeah. Uh, but, and again, for different applications yeah. on that. Well, this is the thing. I mean, we've tried to look at um, machines here. You've got CTX, you've got NLX, you've got NTX. And we've tried to kind of, you know, find out what the differences are between them and, and sometimes they're quite subtle yeah uh, you know CTX the new 750s is a beast I mean it's a VDI 50 127 mil bar capacity 700 swing and and that the NLX in fact one of your colleagues told me uh, Martin he said the NLX Gen 2 they put it in a dark room fed it with some steroids and then called it back <laughs> out <laughs> What well, a great way of uh, describing it. It's not, it's not my wife's Mini. That's what I say. <laughs> it's the Mini on steroids. But yeah, you've got that. And again, those subtle differences to a customer can be a big difference. Yeah. And, and it can make or break how they're going to do their production. So whilst people might look at it globally and say, there's not a lot of difference here. They're all whatever. Very subtle differences yeah. make a big difference to the customer. And that's what's really, really good about our product range. Most of my guys, or all of my guys, they're going to a customer, pull something out, we have a solution. Yeah. And they may get a bit confused at the front end, talking about maybe, is it gonna be this one, this one, this one, but we can narrow it down very, very quickly once the customer starts defining what his requirements are. Yeah. This, this, this one here was, was stood out to me as well. I've seen it before, the NTX 500. Tiny little milling head, yeah, but yet with some power and force in it too. I mean, how do they get it all in there? That's yeah. Know. Well, the interesting one for this one, ideal for medical, yeah. and of course, medical is tough materials, difficult yeah. materials. So you've got to have rigidity, you've got to have power. Yeah. You know, so this is really good. We're doing quite well with this this uh, this machine again in the medical field. Um, you wonder how small it can go to. I mean, I did go to a. Uh, a, a, a dentistry a while back and looking at one of these small milling machines about this big, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but it could only machine plastic, right? Okay. You know, or, or the, the plastic stuff they use, but couldn't machine uh, ceramics or anything like that. Were you there so for you your own reasons? No, my dentist. wife's. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 fortunately, I'm, I'm done, I'm okay at the moment, so yeah. look after it. Yeah, this, this, this machine as well, I mean, I, that's a compact head too. Very. I saw this at AMD. This is the, I know the doors. Uh, Open, it's so a it's a 550. 550 TC, yeah. yeah. So mill turn, multitasking, full, all faces can be machined at once, plenty yeah. of power, plenty of speed. You know, again, just fitting into a, you know, a market where people want multitasking solutions, I guess. Yeah, and the reason the head's so small is if you've got that on the side and you've got a long tool and you've got a long part, you've got space between that, you've got a lot of space between those two spindles. And of course, you've got the Speedmaster on there, which is three year warranty. Right, okay, three years. Built by us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about the five axis? I mean, there's a, there's a DMX launched. Yeah. Is that going to be for your market in the UK? Oh, yeah. That, that, that's that, that comes along after the CMX. So you've got the CMX 50 and 70. You've now got a DMX 60 and 80. So they're coming out of the FAMOP factory. That's a three plus two, yeah, rather than a four five. And from that point of view, not everybody needs four five. So again, it's a great entry to put products on there maneuver it around as opposed to moving it down a, a vertical machine and gives you better efficiency and, and, we, and geometric accuracy. And how is the UK market for you at the moment? It's great, yep. really pleased, yeah. Um, we just won a substantial contract this month um, in one of the racing teams, which has been really, really great. Uh, but actually business across the board, all industries and all customers. So we've, we've, we've had a great start in January uh, I made a report to Dr. Mori saying it was interesting that the orders came from some small little subcontract shops um, right through to the big multinationals. Right, that's good. Optimistic, very optimistic. Yeah. And do you know we've got some problems coming up in April with uh, our wonderful government that everyone seems to be very, and, very, and we very, overcome them. very keen, yeah, very keen to actually um, point the finger at them because they put a lot on the national insurance. So this is going to have an impact on customers. Automation automate your machines is the key. 
Now a lot of customers have got machines that are auto ready so we can come and clip on some, some kind of automation, but you know, they're not going to tax that. Yeah. They're yeah. not going to tax that, so you've and, got to get it. Are people embracing it though, Steve? Are you seeing, I mean, we see it here, it's a wash yeah. everywhere. There's robots feeding all machines, you know, different styles of automation. Is it, is it taking shape for you? Are you yeah, yes, it's, you, we have to in the UK, you know? Otherwise, you're going to become an uncompetitive nation. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of people now using automation for all sorts of things. Some people, or there seems to be a number of people, that are very happy to man the machines during the day, maybe get the machines up and running, get the process right, and then leave it ticking over at the night. Um, and sometimes we've just got people that are using it to make 20 parts on a lathe, uh, run through lunch hour when everyone else has gone off, and that kind of thing. So you're getting the best out of your machine. You know, I, I, I met a guy who is actually in Malta. He picked us up in this nice flash Merc. Uh, we were going out to dinner somewhere. And um, I went, oh, this is an expensive car to run. He went, well, not really. He said, he said my first son runs it from eight till six, and the other son runs it from six till two, and I run it from two till back to yeah. It's 24 hours. Yeah. Now, it's not unattended, yeah. but it's, it's utilizing the equipment. Yeah. And that's what you've got to do. You're only making money when that spindle is cutting swath. Yeah. You know, when that spindle is cutting swath, and if there's someone loading it, and you're paying for someone to load it, you're not very competitive. Yeah, yeah. And, and do you find that, because, you know, it, like you say, it, it's growing, people, more and more people come in here to this event, and next year, 2026, you'll be encouraging even more. Yeah. Do you find the guys that come here go away with that message? They kind of, it does help them change their direction, and it does help them think. That there's two, two aspects to what they change their minds on. A, seeing is believing. They didn't know, they didn't realise, they didn't understand. Okay, so it's our job to actually bring that across. But you know what's a great thing? And when you've got a big group, networking. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, yesterday, the conversations between three or four companies that was being led by one of our customers was unbelievable. Yeah, inter opportunities for them, I guess, as well, isn't there? Well, we went to Japan last year. We've, we, two of the people that went, two of the companies that went, are now doing work for each other. Yeah. And that, that, that's great as well. They didn't know each other, yeah. up opposite ends of the country. Yeah. So this, this networking opportunity is really, really strong. So yes, I'd encourage people to come in. I want to bring even more people. As I said, hotel holds 125. So that means I can bring really 250 people in two, se two sessions. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. It really is yeah. a great event, Stephen. It's an honor for us to be able to come here every year and cover it. Uh, and I would say that, you know, when we do, there's world premieres every year, so there's always something new to see. Yeah. I'm going to finish this now, Steve, by just asking you a question about um, the clothing, the DMG Mori clothing. Have you got yourself a, a sweater uh, yet? No, uh, it was launched on the 10th of February. Right. Um, Charlie is taking a number of items back for modelling. Okay. Uh, should be should be strutting the stuff up and down the showroom right. uh, back in the UK. But it's really, really good quality. It's made in Portugal or Spain, okay. so you know we're not using low costs high quality stuff. I want our guys to be representing, you know, DMG Mori in the best possible way and to put them in the really nice clothing, you know, is gonna be, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but not too much. And I suspect we'll find that in, in you know, how it wears as well. So I, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but it's gonna be a big bill when I ride it out, you know. <laughs> well, but brilliant, well, thank you very much for the invitation again. Well, Steve. thank you for taking it to all the audience. Thanks to the audience for listening. Um, please come and see us next year. You know, it'd be, you're always welcome to visit throughout the year as well. If it's an ad hoc visit, we've often got these showroom machines going. And of course, you've got the factory out there as well, you can say. Absolutely, where they're all made. Yeah. Um, so that's it for Fronton 2025. But get yourself on the list to be here next year. Be January, February, I guess the dates aren't finalised yeah. yet. But, but keep an eye on the DMG Mori website. And thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Paul. Cheers.